This is a demonstration of administration of an intradermal injection. To begin, I will gather my supplies and check my PCP order. I need a vial of PPD solution, a tuberculin syringe, alcohol preps, patient labels, gloves, a sharps container, and a trash can. I will begin by entering my patient's room, washing my hands, and then I will identify my patient. I will begin by introducing myself to the patient, then as I'm looking at the identification bracelet, asking my patient to state their name and date of birth. Next, I will prepare my injection. I'm examining my PPD vial, checking the expiration date, I will open the wrapper of my tuberculin syringe. I will cleanse the rubber stopper of my PPD solution with an alcohol prep. Next, I'm going to drop my PPD solution. PPD is always, the dose for PPD is always 0.1 mLs. I'm going to begin by removing my cap. I'm going to pull the plunger back to the point 0.1 on the syringe. With my vial on the tabletop, I'm going to inject air into my vial. Then I will invert and withdraw the medication. I will then return the vial to the tabletop, remove my syringe. At this point, I'm going to recap my syringe. I will scoop the cap and with my fingers on the side, recap my syringe. At this point, I will place a label on the syringe that will identify the medication. On the label, I need to include the medication, the dose, and the route. At this point, I need to examine my patient's arm for any signs of redness, scarring, bruising, scratches as these are not adequate places to give an injection. The injection should be administered on the inner third or the inner aspect of the forearm in the middle third. Another important thing to do is to ask your patient if they've ever received a PPD injection and if they've ever had any type of reaction to it. If they respond by telling you they've had a reaction to a PPD, they should not receive this injection. At this point, I'm going to put on my gloves for, for administration. I will cleanse the area with an alcohol prep. I will allow the area to dry it, I will not be fanning or blowing on the area to dry the skin. At this point, I am going to uncap my syringe and throw my cap into the, into the garbage. Before I give this injection, it is important when you're giving an intradermal injection that the bevel or the tip of the needle be facing up so that once the medication is administered, you will have a bubble or a wheel under the skin. The angle for this injection is five to 15 degrees. That will ensure that the medication goes in the dermal layer of the skin. When you insert the needle, insert approximately an eighth of an inch 
so that the bevel is all the way under the skin. With my non-dominant hand, I'm going to secure my patient's arm. With my dominant hand, I'm going to hold the syringe on the top and inject. I will draw the needle at this point using my safety device on a tabletop. I will cover my sharps and immediately place into my sharps container. At this point, I want to instruct my patient that within 48 to 72 hours, they will need to return to their PCP provider's office to have the skin test red. There should be no redness or swelling at the site. It, you also would like to tell your patient that they should not scratch or rub or touch the injection site.